Much later this morning, North Carolina transportation officials will be discussing how they're preparing for the approaching winter storm. We just heard Savannah talk about it there. The NCDOT responsible for keeping things safe on the roads in the event of bad weather, and we know that weather is coming. Continuing our live team coverage ahead of today's briefing is Jen Thompson. Jen, thanks for being with us on this Friday morning. Thanks for having me. Not that there's anything to talk about because nothing's coming up this weekend. Uh, I, I'm assuming things are similar there at, uh, at NCDOT as it is here in our weather center and in our newsroom. I mean, all hands are on deck. We're trying to think of every angle, every, everything that we can get out to the public so that they can be safe when a storm comes through. Is that sort of how preparations are happening there with you? You're exactly right. It is an all hands on deck approach. This, this storm is, uh, first we haven't had a storm in maybe three years. And so a lot of folks are excited about it, but we also are taking this storm very seriously because it's it's going to bring all kinds of precipitation with it and all uh, parts of the state are going to see various impacts. So we are getting ready to start hitting the road this morning uh, after rush hour with our brine trucks and we're going to be treating all of our interstates our primary roads, our secondary roads, and we even have some subdivision streets in our bare pavement system, but uh, we treat those higher volume roads first and we just kind of move on down the tier until we get everything treated. And that's gonna be probably like an 18 hour process to wow. get that because we have 2000 plus lane miles that we maintain just in Mecklenburg County alone. So we're utilizing about 25, 26 of our DOT trucks, but then we rely heavily on contractors We've got about 120 plus contractor trucks that we can utilize as well. So you're going to see most of them on the interstates and we kind of hop onto the primaries and the secondaries. And then once the event starts, we rotate all of our employees in a 12 hour shift until the event is over. And we know that it's not going to be over on Sunday. We're going to be looking into Monday, maybe you know further into next week as things melt and refreeze. So our message really for folks is to prepare now, get all the supplies that you need now. Once this thing comes in tomorrow night, we want as many people off the road as possible through Sunday and good thing that we have a holiday on Monday. Mm -hmm. So we're, we really encourage people to pay attention to the weather, really stay off the roads. Don't travel unless it's absolutely necessary because this is not going to be, um, this is gonna be difficult to, to deal with. It's gonna be very hazardous. Well, and there's just so many, depending on where you live, there's just so many factors that go into what kind of precipitation is going to be coming down? We've heard Ted and Jim this morning say this is going to be a mixed bag. You guys are having to cover everything from the mountain communities, which could get a foot all the way down through South Carolina. My family lives in Union County. We could be getting a lot of ice. And so you kind of are having to prepare for a little bit of everything. That's exactly right. And, uh, you know, our folks in the mountains, I mean, this is, you know, they're, they prepare for this. All of us are prepared for this. It's not that we wait until a storm is, is forecast to get started. We've been prepping since the fall. We've been looking at all of our equipment, making sure everything is working. Uh, chainsaws are ready to go too, because we might have to cut down some tree limbs. We've got cut and shove contractors ready on standby if we need to do uh, any pushing of any limbs out of the way as well, once they get uh, free from power lines, if that happens. Um, all of our drivers have um, experience with their snow routes. They know where they need to go. We've done dry runs in uh, the fall about that too. And so uh, we've got all of our salt ready, all of our brine. And um, all we ask is that folks just stay home, stay indoors, enjoy uh, time with family and, and let us do our job. And we, then we can get it done more efficiently. Jen, you mentioned a couple of years ago, it was about 2018, I believe, when we had a, a pretty bad a storm. Are there things that, uh, that your department learned from that that you're able to carry over now to, to what we're expecting here in a couple of days? I think we just have to be ready for whatever comes. Uh, every storm is different. Um, we have to take it case by case. Um, the good thing is we have more at the ready than, um, than we think we need. So the good thing about that is we are also affected by pandemic. Uh, COVID has affected the industry with, with staffing shortages and, and NCDOT is not unique to that. Uh, we have um, several employees that are quarantined right now too. So our response time may not be as quick as what people are used to seeing. In that. So please bear that in mind as well, but we are going to be utilizing every able, healthy person that has a valid CDL license. We're pulling people from other units like our bridge um, operations, our traffic services operations, uh, roadside environmental, anybody that can uh, drive a truck with a plow and spread some sand or spread some salt, 
we're, we're bringing everybody to the table to help clear this uh, storm out as quickly as possible. And one quick question, Jen, before we let you go, are there certain problem areas around the city that we need to sort of have a heads up or, or be thinking about, whether it's because of staff shortages or just, it seems like every year when there's a storm, these are the areas where we have issues. Well, obviously think of your bridges, think of your flyovers. Um, we have several large flyover bridges, uh, I-485, for example, connecting at I-77 on both ends of the county, I-85 and I-485. Uh, Interstate 277 uptown, uh, those elevated surfaces freeze up first. So um, if you have to go out, you're, you're going to have to slow down. You're going to have to increase your following distance, leave yourself some extra time. If I could, too, impart that um, there are resources to get travel information. If you do have to go on the road, you can call us uh, 511. That is automated. That's 24-7 uh, um, updated road conditions. And you can go to our website, which is drivenc.gov. You can get uh, conditions all across North Carolina if you're interested in other parts of the state and what's happening somewhere else. That is some great <laughs> advice for our viewers. And don't forget to have maybe an emergency kit just in case something does happen and you, you, you stranded. We were saying a while ago we don't want what happened up in Virginia on I-95 to happen to anyone right. in our area. So, Jen Thompson with NCDOT, thank you for what you have been working on since fall. And we know what you're going to be doing over the next 48 hours. So thanks for your time this morning. And uh, let us know if there's any information else that we can get out to our viewers. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Appreciate it. It is now 840 and stay ahead of this weekend's winter storms by heading to our website, qcnews.com or downloading the QC weather app. It's totally free in the Google Play and Apple App Store. We'll give you hour by hour updates of your pinpoint forecast. Uh, again, that is free to download. We want to kick it over to meteorologist Ted Faton because although we heard Jen say stay home, some people will have to venture out. Yeah, and there's only so much you can do for the roadways. They have that covered. What you can do for yourself is check your tires, the tire pressure, the tread. You want to make sure that they're not bald because that's going to enhance the ability to slide. You do not want that. Also, make sure you remove any of the snow or ice that's encased on the windshield before you start driving and don't make any abrupt changes to your speed or direction. That's what's going to also enhance enhance the, uh, the chances of you sliding out there. So definitely take it slow and again, stay home if you have the opportunity to do so.